How's it going everybody? So I recently purchased a new dust collector from Oneida Air Systems. Um, this is the original collector I've been using. I bought it uh, about three or four years ago. It's also an Oneida dust collector. It's the V Systems 3000. It has three horsepower and about roughly 1300 CFM of airflow. Now the reason I purchased this new one is because I've added some equipment and, and an extra employee into the shop and this, this particular machine just doesn't have quite enough power for the forehead molder which I purchased. So what I want to do is I've got these these wrenches and then I've ripped up this little piece of plywood with a carabiner and I'm actually going to attach it to this after I turn the unit on. Okay so as you can see it's holding these wrenches with no problem at all so let's add a little bit more weight and see what we can do. issue at all so I guess we're gonna have to add more weight. Doesn't look like it's gonna do it. It's close though. So I hope this helps demonstrate how powerful this unit is. I look forward to getting the bigger one hooked up um, and seeing how much power it has in comparison to this unit. Okay guys, so it's been a few weeks since I shot the footage on the V-Systems 3000, uh, my older Anita dust collector unit, which I actually still have running. I looked it up over there, you can't see that, but I had this new machine hooked up. I'm really excited about it. It's working incredible. I've had it running now for a couple weeks. Um, a few specs on this. This is a 5 horsepower dust collector. It does about 2200 CFM. It has an 8 inch inlet and a 55 gallon collection drum. It also has a very large uh, HEPA filter to keep a lot of the fine dust out of the shop. That's what's so great about these Anita Cyclones is they really filter out the fine dust. So as the, the dust enters into the dust collector through the tubing, the heavier stuff drops into the bin and the really fine dust finds its way into this filter. And essentially you blow this filter out and it all drops into this pan down here and you dump it. And you never have any of the really fine harmful dust floating around in your shop. Um, that's the stuff that will really cause problems with your lungs and, and your sinuses and stuff like that. So I'm going to put this thing to the test real quick. We're going to do a few things with it and just kind of show up how powerful it is. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so we saw with the Oneida V-Systems 3000 how it could hold up the wrenches. Um, it's a much smaller machine than this one, so I'm expecting this to have a lot more power. Uh, plus, you're going to get a lot more suction on a larger pipe. It's 8 inches as opposed to six inches. Um, so I have I have the same little rig I've got here. This one's actually not quite big enough to cover this pipe, which is probably a good thing because I don't want to restrict all the airflow going into this. Um, it's just too big and powerful for that. It might crush the pipe or, or just, it's probably not good for the machine. So let's crank this thing on and see what it can do. So it handled the riches just fine, so I've got my old Bosch router here rigged up to hang. What the heck? You dead. So I've got my old shop chair here. I thought this would be kind of interesting to see if it could hold a chair up. Um, it's pretty heavy, I would say. That we're looking at about 12, 15 pounds. Uh, so let's give it a shot and see see if it can do it. It 
barely does it, but it actually holds up this chair with the suction of the dust collector. Pretty impressive. Okay, so I've shown you a few cool uh, tests with the machines to show you just how much suction they have, but uh, I thought it'd be cool for you guys to actually see practically what they do with the machine and how they pull the dust away and how well they actually work. So I'm going to start here at the radial arm saw um, and I'm just going to go through every machine in the shop and real quickly just uh, demonstrate the suction at the machine. Okay guys, so you've gotten a chance to kind of see uh, how powerful these two dust collectors are. I want everyone to know that um, the dust in the shop is a real danger for woodworkers. It's kind of an unseen danger. The, the really fine dust that you don't see is the stuff that you breathe in and collect in your lungs and over long term exposure can really cause health problems. Um, it affects me. I get sinus problems from it and stuff. I really don't like the dust. so. That's why I've always invested uh, wisely in dust collection, and Oneida has always been uh, my choice. A lot of the bag uh, dust collectors, they're actually worse. They'll, they'll, really, they'll, catch, they'll catch the real big uh, wood chips, but the real fine dust actually gets just shot back out into your shop, and you'll end up with just this cloud of fine dust that you're breathing all day. So I highly recommend, if you're a furniture maker, woodworker, um, um, looking into these Anata units, this V Systems 3000 is a great unit for a small garage shop. It, it runs my, it ran my table saw, my planer, my joiner, and my bandsaw without any issues at all. It wasn't until I bought this bigger uh, S4S that I needed to step up to that five horsepower. So I, I, I thank Anita for uh, supporting this video, and um, if you want to learn more about their products, just click the link and go to their website and check out what they have. Thanks a lot, guys.